massage nurse, today I'm going to bring you an abdominal massage. This is actually very good for bloating and for moving the lymphatic system. We have a lot of lymph nodes in our abdominal area, so I'm going to show you and some of the uh, points that you need to be aware of and how to, you know, how to be gentle also. So you want to uh, first palpate gently the siphoid process, which is at the end of the sternum. This is a point right here, and that's got, you're going to form a triangle from the siphoid process out to the iliac crest, the anterior superior iliac crest. So it's a triangle from here to here and across. The colon, the large intestine, is here's the ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon. So for people that are constipated, you want to make sure and work in a circular motion and specifically down the descending colon. So one of the things that you want to do first is warm up your hands and introduce your hands gently to your client in the, in the, in the abdomen. And you might want to do just some gentle, slow waves right here. Just some moving here to introduce your client to the abdomen. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I have put a pillow underneath her knees and her legs because you want to make sure to relax the abdominal muscles. You've got your rectus, abdominis, and internal and external obliques here. So you want to make sure that those muscles are relaxed so that you can get to the, to the large intestine and the small intestine. So you first want to do some gentle rocking movement. Now, you, if you're ready to apply some oil, you want to do the sun and the moon movement, where the sun goes clockwise. Then when you're here, this hand goes over. So you're just going in a circular motion, and the sun goes over the moon here. And you can do this about three or four times just to start getting some circulation going and some of the digestion there going through the large intestine. And another one that you can do is along the rib cage, rib cage right here. From the sternum down. You can do this about two or three times. And remember not to put pressure here on the siphoid process, okay? This is really also another move, good movement here for the diaphragm and the liver and the gallbladder um, are on this side. And then the spleen and the pancreas are on this side. So you want to make sure and just do some gentle strokes. You can even use your finger pads. Never fingernails, just the finger pads along the rib cage. Okay, so let's do some more sun and move. I like to use this as a transitional move. The sun and, and moon movement. Another one that you can do is from here you can get the external obliques. So you're just doing some Nice moves, some raking. And of course, then I would go to the other side and do some raking from this side, okay? Then you can also do some ocean waves across the abdomen. And when you get to the rib cage, make sure you do them slow. And once you've warmed up all this you know, you can go put your hands. I'm going to the posterior part. My hands, my fingers are going to be touching. And then you can lift up. And then you can also shake. If you're tall enough and strong enough to do that, you can do that. So you go to the middle part. Then you lift up. Kind of shake the abdomen a little bit. This is another move that you can do. And then now you're going to start doing some specific work. One of the things that you can do is you're going to hold the tissue here and scrape down, especially if they're constipated. You want to come down the descending colon. So I'm still pretty high and getting 
more like that was more the stomach but as you start getting down here this is the descending colon of the large intestine and you might feel some movement if you move gas especially if they're constipated or uh, you know some tightness there some little bumps along the way but you can actually feel them here all down this way so be gentle and you can go across and you can also go up this way because remember, it goes up. So you want to go from this side and go up. I like to use two fingers, or you can use three fingers if the person has an extended uh, abdomen. And then you can again. Go along the rib cage. You can go and do some more sun and move techniques. This really soothes the abdomen, and like I said, it really helps with constipation, with bloating, with even with cramps. You know, women that can get cramps, if you can just do some some uh, ocean waves here, and the bottom hand is for palpating, and the top hand is for pressure, and just get some stuff moving in here if they need um, some help. Usually people pass gas or have to go to the bathroom when you get done with this massage. And it also um, helps with uh, the lymph nodes. We have a lot of lymph nodes. One of the things that, uh, techniques that you can do is you can move down to the lymph nodes, uh, putting a little bit of pressure down. You can do one side at a time. What you're doing is you're draining the lymph nodes, sending the, the fluid, the from the lymph nodes down to the groin area where we have main ducts right here. From both sides. So, we have over six to 700 uh, lymph nodes all over the body. So we have a lot of them here in the, in the abdominal area. So again, you can finish with some sun and move techniques and some soothing. You get the internal and external obliques. And at the end, and this can take just five minutes, a quick five minute if you want to incorporate it to your massage. Actually, for a Swedish massage, we do incorporate it. However, if it's specific where you can spend a little bit of more time doing these techniques, but it really helps, like I said, with bloating, with the lymphatic system, and passing gas, and uh, helping relieve some stomach cramps too. So until the next time, create a great day. Mm -hmm.